Sony and Microsoft have been locked in a battle for many years now as the makers of two of the most popular game consoles on the market, the Xbox and the PlayStation. The battle has reached new chapters this year with the release of the Xbox X series and the PS5. Both consoles looking pretty cool and have some serious hardware to back up their looks. But which one is better? Stick around to find out because YouTube News is going to give you all the in-depth analysis of the latest installment in the console wars. But first before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe on this video right now if you want to see more content like this. So one of the most important aspects of a gaming console is the price. They're usually a lot cheaper than a gaming PC, at the cost of less performance. But both companies have been hard at work creating some PC killing machines, with specs to rival some high-end gaming rigs. But we'll get to that nitty gritty stuff later. Both companies have been really quiet about the prices, but a recent leaked listing from Amazon France showed the PS5 to be priced at 499 euros, equivalent to around 550 US dollars. This is Now this is by no means a guarantee of price, and many experts have estimated it to be closer to $500, but still if a high price tag like this is too much for you, you're in luck, because they'll be both releasing a second digital only model with no disc slot. The PS5 digital only is the same size as the regular PS5, and will have similar specs except from, obviously no disk drive, and will cost around $50 less than a regular PS5, which is estimated to be close to around $500. On the other hand, the baby Xbox, named Xbox Series S, is basically the Series X but chopped in half. No, literally. They took it and sliced the bottom off and left us with just a cube. It will have major graphics and processing downgrades from the Series X, and while that doesn't sound like a great package, hold on to your socks because this is the best bit. The base model looks like it's gonna cost around $400 to $450, or already undercutting the PS5 by as much as $100, while the smaller less powerful Series S is on the track to chop that price in half, coming down to as little as $200 brand new. So in terms of price, if you're looking for a baseline bargain, or if you want a top of the range, the Xbox is most kind to your wallet. Another weapon of mass destruction in the console wars is the console exclusives, games that are only available on one console. The Xbox has some interesting looking titles for itself, including a brand new horror game called Scorn, another exciting horror game, The Medium, where a player will control a spiritual medium that can transverse between different worlds. Sounds pretty creepy. And it's a bonus because we haven't seen games like this recently. Legendary franchise Halo will also be making a return, and we'll be expecting some uh, titles too, like Forza, both Motorsport and Horizon, as well as Quantum Break 2 and others. It seems like there's already some pretty impressive exclusives lined up for the PS5, including Horizon Forbidden West, a sequel to 2017's popular open world post-apocalyptic RPG, with all the bow-slinging robo-dinosaur riding you can get your mind around, and the next one looks just as awesome. Other excited confirmed PlayStation exclusives include the Gran Turismo 7, one of the best racing simulators out there, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, the sequel to the hit Marvel Spider-Man game from 2018. There are also heaps of other PlayStation exclusives that they haven't announced yet, but we're pretty sure it's going to be in the future, including Last of Us Part 2 II and 3, possibly God of War sequel, the next Uncharted game, Bloodborne 2, I could go on. With a list like this, it isn't hard to see that PlayStation will get an absolute win when it comes to the exclusives department, which is enough to pull some previous Xbox fans to the other side. So with Xbox having the cheaper price and PlayStation having a range of better exclusives, it's neck and neck for which console is better. So which one performs better? This is probably one of the most important aspects of a console. And while the PS4 had some slightly better performance than the Xbox One, this time Microsoft is shaking some things up. The Xbox Series X will be lightning fast, capable of performing speeds up to 12 teraflops, compared to PS5's 10. To put this in perspective, to get this kind of speed on a PC, you'll need to spend $1,500 on a graphics card alone. That's about three times the price of either console. So although they're going to be a bit pricier than the previous version, although they're going to be a bit pricier than the previous generations, they'll have some serious bit of machinery to play around with. And if pricing is the problem, you can always go for the cheaper Series S to satisfy you with the possible $200 mark. Although it'll have less performance with its big brother, with only four teraflops, this will still be four times more powerful than the Xbox One that came before it. So it's not under powered at all.
At the end of the day, we'll have to pick between two. If you're having trouble deciding, then it looks like the Xbox Series X is taking this cake this time around. Its top model is cheaper, it's got an actual budget model instead of taking a disc tray out, and it's got better performance to top it all off. Although it's lacking in the exclusives department, that is a subject to change if, uh, if it proves experts right by outselling the PS5, as developers will flock to sign deals with Microsoft, who is already looking like the world's next powerhouse in gaming. So those are the differences and the similarities between the Xbox Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. We hope we've helped you in making a decision and that you enjoyed the video. But before we let you go, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel to be the first to get your hands on our latest videos and hit that like button if you did enjoy and help us keep bringing you the latest news from all over the internet. Stay safe everyone and uh, happy gaming!